Hi, thanks for watching Dance with Mary NYC. Today I'd like to talk about cushions and think beyond the toe pad. With me today is my friend Gina. Hi Gina. Hi Mary. Gina is a beautiful freelance dancer in New York City. She's danced for Suzanne Farrell and you might recognize her from the movie The Black Swan. I'd like to talk to you about cushions and inserts that you use inside of your shoe. Sometimes we use a bulky toe pad, but I'd like to talk a little more about customization and making it work exactly for you. And I know you've had problems in the past with what you put inside of the point shoe and making it work for you. If your toes aren't even, you need a better solution than a big bulky toe pad. And let's show them some examples. Okay. So I've got Gina without her point shoes on, so I'd like everyone to take a look at the way her foot is constructed. She's got a lot of space in between her first and her second toe. Many dancers have that. It's a common issue. So when she goes on point, the foot will compress up and it will squish over and then it'll start to really put a lot of pressure there on that joint. It'll even put pressure on this joint and occasionally what will happen is it will put pressure on this joint as well. So we do want some kind of an insert. Now what type of insert to use? Well we can use an insert in between the first and second toe. That helps even it out. However sometimes this will make the dancer's foot sweat more. We want to be careful. They sweat enough in point shoes. So occasionally dancers will use say a makeup wedge. This is um, a non-latex one. You just want to be careful if you have any allergies to latex to make sure to use non-latex. But what happens is these start to compress up after a while. So what I like to use is a foam one and you can see it's wonderful. It doesn't go up too high profile wise. It goes up evenly here and it also takes up the correct amount of space. We don't want something so big it pushes her toe that way. So that should feel pretty comfortable and can you just kind of roll up as if you were gonna go up on point? And look how straight that joint will stay with that pad in there and then go ahead, roll down. Another little trick that you may want to do is you can take a tape like this. This is sports tape, right? It doesn't have to be any specific brand, just sports tape. And I'm going to do something called a T-sling on here. A T-sling is a very supportive uh, taping to help support that joint, All right, so. We're going to go with one piece right around here and then we'll go another piece right around the middle of the foot or I should say the big toe joint and then we can take yet another piece and if you pick your foot up just a little bit, thank you, and let me go here, make sure it's smooth. Go around and then put a little pressure on that. You don't want your foot to fall asleep because it's too tight. Right? And then once again, go there and that really keeps all the bones nicely and aligned. Now, if you feel like this is just too much, let's go ahead and take some of this tape off. Sometimes it's a little, right? We'll go ahead and take that off. Occasionally dancers will tell me that that taping is a little bit too much. So you can do that as well. And then you can take that same sports tape Go ahead and get that, and then you just wrap it right around there. And that makes it really, really nice and supportive. Right? But you can see that's a really nice way to keep everything in line and keep the bones in line so the pressure goes directly through the middle of her foot rather than towards this part of her foot. And those are some things you can do to help with your inserts on point.
Well, I'd like to thank Gina for helping me out today. Thanks, Gina. Thanks, Mary. Do you feel like some of those things helped you? Absolutely. Oh, great. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Dance with Mary NYC, and make sure you leave comments below on what works for you inside of the point shoe. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.